This is probably, uh, for Harrisburg University, this is like our Super Bowl. This is our funnest time of the year. This is when we get, we do such a great job with our great partners at XL Live with all the shows that we do. We do about, you know, 70, 70 shows a year. But this is, the, this is the six shows, five shows a year that we just love. And we have such a great team down here. And we have so many workers and such great teammates and partners. And when you look out into the crowd, we're on the stage right now, but you can actually see how beautiful this park is. We have some tremendous sponsors that have come in this year with PSECU, Troges Brewery, Dauphin County, and everyone else that's involved. But when this place gets filled up, and when you see the strings of lights out there, it is the most beautiful venue I contend in the state of Pennsylvania. This place is an awesome, it's better than any vineyard, it's better than any small arena or venue or anything like that for summertime outdoor, but it is just magical. And I encourage, even if you don't like the band or if you don't know the band, better is if you don't know the band, to come on down and see us because tonight we have, I mean, Wednesday night we have Jason Isbell and the 400 unit. Then we have the Roots coming in, the Roots. Remember the party last year we had with the Roots? That's gonna be a great show. Then we have the Head and the Heart. Um, then we have Mount Joy, and then Trey Anastasio, the, his original band, the, the Trey Anastasio band is coming in in September. So pretty big shows, and um, we're very excited about it. We encourage everyone to come on down. This, this season is very unique because they're all very heavy. This is a really very weighted, um, eclectic show that we put a lot of time into thinking about it, looking over lists, what can we do, talking to agents, traveling to New York and Nashville and discussing you know, possibilities. And yeah, we're, we're very happy with this. But, but every season is different. Every, it really is. Can I say one's better than another one? No, because last year I was just as excited about Lord Huron being here. There's a magical aspect of seeing a park, seeing a show at Riverfront Park with the slow train going over top of the back or you see 30 pontoon boats lit up with their, with their navigation lights and they're all just sitting out there. And then you see the people and the strings of lights out in the crowd. Um, it's really magical. I, I, I can't think of any other word to describe Riverfront Park than magical when a show's happening. And the day of, magical. When the bus gets here tomorrow morning at 7.30, magical. I love, I love these shows. I really do. I, I don't know if you can feel it. <laughs>the level of shows that we've built and to be able to pull it off and to rise to this level and even have future conversations that I'm entering into in the next couple of weeks. You know, there's a lot bigger plans that it's almost, sometimes I sit back and like I fight stuff and I'm like, okay, maybe this is the way it should be going. Maybe this is the path that we are going. And you know, sometimes I believe in the universe and sometimes I think I, sometimes I say it maybe too often, like, we can't control this. And, the, you know, this, this isn't our plan, it's not up to us. And, you know, I'm just, I'm really proud of what I've done. I, I don't think about it a lot, but the moments that I do, it's like, it's a little, it's a little overwhelming.